Hello and welcome back to complete Laravel e-commerce project tutorial series another video. Today we will show you how we can display the error message when we submit our form and it hit the validation and errors we declared. Then we also will show you how you can display success message if our category successfully added to database. If you missed out our previous video, be sure to check that out because in our previous video, we set up this from, we create controller, our master category controller, and from that controller, we use the categories model to store our category in the database, category table, right? So yeah, if you missed that, be sure to check that out first. Now, let me show you how you can display your message. It's very simple. Just use this if condition if we have any errors then this div will be called you can use this div or you can use sweet alert anything okay so this div will call and then here we're just going to for is the error message because there's maybe will many error when we submit this from like if i go to the validation where we validate our data you can see for category name we pass only two conditions. One is it need to be unique in our category stable and another is max 100 character, right? We can also pass here another thing like uh, if I want to, we can also pass here, okay, max 100, then uh, mean, okay, mean like 10. So yeah, you can pass as many validation rule as you want. So whenever anyone submit the form, they probably will hit uh, more than one error. So whenever they hit more than one error, all the errors going to be displayed using the for is loop ALI. Okay, so let me show you how you can do that very fast. Let's see either way it display any error for now or what. So by far for this role, minimum 10 category, if I want to submit like mobile it should not uh, go and store that in our database right because it's not 10 category so i click on add category it should not let me show you in our database it's not uploaded or it's not added because uh, it did not pass our validation message of minimum 10 character 10 character right so now no message display here because we did not pass any message here. So let's follow these rules. Simply copy this from Laravel official document working with error message. Here displaying the validation error. If you go to this part, you will get this error uh, message part. We just copy it and come back to our create category blade.psv file and here this is our card and then card header and in card body we have from before the from i'm going to paste our error message so it's very simple if we have any error then this alert will display this is alert alert danger simply you can use bootstrap alert or whatever framework you are using for our theme bootstrap alert going to work perfectly then if there any error it will run a ui unordered list and then simply for is all the errors as error and display our error in li if i save it right now and go back to the website again okay refresh it try to submit again mobile let's see what happened it displaying category name field must be at least 10 character right awesome so error message displaying successfully but this class not getting okay let me check let me check our layout.blade.psv file okay fine it using bootstrap 5 so if i go to bootstrap 5 official website bootstrap 5 okay this is the bootstrap official website then ask for alert okay 
okay so we have pretty different kinds of alert we can use alert primary alert secondary okay alert dismissible where that is let's find out alert dismissible okay this one is good so i'm going to use alert alert warning and the alert dismissible this one let's see whether it working or not so alert alert warning and alert dismissible let's see try again and this time it should get um the error message in alert box okay the category name has already been taken but still no error style getting okay let me check the theme in the theme there should be some style for that if it's using bootstrap then why it's not getting the style make no sense okay let me fix that quickly i'm going to include the bootstrap css as well in the layout file now see now let's try again yeah this time it's working okay nice so theme has some kinds of hero like they did not even use bootstrap cdn link anywhere in the design so how bootstrap going to be work make no sense so yeah that's why we just use it and it's now working perfectly you can see all the error messages showing here nicely category name has already been taken category name field must be at least 10 character right imagine so it's working nicely next if our category submits successfully then we need to display a success message right like Mm, let me type here okay and uh, let me go to the okay, master category controller again and minimum let's give it five because we will have some category which will possibly smaller than 10 character so yeah pass it five now let's try to add what A smartphone tv laptop yeah so laptop added but we did not see any message success message here right but if i go to our database refresh laptop added so how to display success message very fast i have to go again to the master category controller file and where we have stored category function we return redirect back to our page and here we have to pass with with success with success message i want to pass a success message that is category added successfully okay now what going to be happen whenever one category submitted successfully it will go back to the route again with a success message which the message is category added successfully now we have to display this into our Creator Creator PC file again. Below the error message, type here if session has the success message. Okay. If our session has the success message, then we just in diff here and inside of that, we'll use alert, alert success, and inside of the alert success, we will display our session success message so just using black templating typing here session then the success okay save it now go back to the site again okay refresh it once 
and try to add like monitor here and you can see category added successfully the success message now why i'm passing here session success because um when our from submitted successfully and category created successfully in our database we return back to the page with session success okay whenever we using heads with that means we passing something to our session and what we are passing in the session that is going to be depends on this value if i use here success i need to use success here as well to display that message if i use here message i need to use same message into the place where i want to display the message this is how it works so using here with means we are passing something to our session and then is any name or any key we are using here whatever the name it is success message my message whatever you want to use here whatever you pass here as a key you need to use that key value uh, in the place where you want to display that session message i hope it's clear all right so that's all about displaying the error message and the success message right now let's move into the section where we will work on editing our category okay so very fast i want to go to our web.php route back again and after i go back to web.php route in the section like uh, where we use our master category controller here it is i want to create here another route okay another route and this route going to be get route and this is going to be category then we want to get a single category here using the id of that category okay so this route is a get route uh, which you are going to be slash category slash id of the category and it's going to be for showing our single category information so the route name going to be show category okay so what is the work of this category very simple whenever anyone visit into this route we want to display one single category information that's all okay simple now go back to the master category controller file again and create here public function show or you can also change the name like show cat so it will be more unique according to our category work okay so public function show cat and it will receive a id okay and uh, using this id i want to find that category from the database right very simple so here use another variable like category info okay and using our category model i want to find our id okay that means i want to simply pull out the category information with id i am getting here next simply i want to do here is return return a view file who is going to be in what name uh, name like in inside of the admin folder okay inside of the admin folder there's category folder and inside of the category folder i want another file which is um, edit category.php and here i also want to compact my uh, category info variable value that's it okay now i need to go to my resource view admin folder and here inside of the category folder i want to create just copy paste the create.play.php and edit like give it a name of edit.plate.php okay now what going to be happen 
whenever anyone visit this router slash category slash id of any category it will look for the show cat function in my master category controller file in my master category controller file i have the show cat function which is using that id to fetch out information of the category which have this id right then it returning a view file which is inside of our admin folder then category folder edit.play.psp file and compacting the information category info very simple now all i want to do is in this edit category.play.psp file i give it a name of like edit category edit category uh, leave this error and success message here okay remove this route action because it's going to be a different route and here here in the category name i want to pass here a value and this value going to be the category info then category name this should be it let's see is it working or not suppose i am passing here category value 1 let's see what happened yeah it taking me to the edit category page with the category value tv category name tv right okay fine now what i want to do is i want to add here a edit button beside this delete button and pass that route here so I need to go to manage updated PSP file and uh, let's just copy paste this btn btn danger and give it a name like btn btn info and the value like edit and then pass here href our edit category um, route name is show cat right yeah show sure, okay so i go back to the manager blade pc file again and pass here the route name is show cat and also it required the id of the category so this should be cat then id now what going to be happen if i refresh this space there should be another button which is edit and if i click on edit in the tv category it should take me to the page where i will able to see the tv category so i can change it to anything else and also for a smartphone if i click on edit it should take me to the page where i will able to see the smartphone and edit it similarly for laptop and for monitor as well so perfect now we are getting the category data in a separate page where we will able to edit our category very simple next our work is very simple pull uh, what we did in our create category page we need to validate this data and create another function to update our category in the database that's what we will do in our next video thank you so much for watching take care bye bye